So welcome to today's lecture. We will talk about uh, SN2 reaction and we have already done one lecture with uh, SN2 reaction mechanism. So today uh, I am going to talk about the factors affecting the SN2 reaction. So first uh, you have you already know that if this is a substrate alkyl halide where L is the leaving group then with the attack of the nucleophile you have this penta coordinated transition state which finally leads to a product so this uh, this is already we have discussed about the several aspect of the transition states and mechanism so let's see now what are the factors that is going to influence the rate of SN2 reaction and the uh, so, uh, overall stability of the transition states and etc. So, the first we will start with the substrate that is the alkyl halide or the substrate compound which is undergoing SN2 reaction. So, let us first think about a simple alkyl halide. So, this is methyl bromide, this is ethyl, and these are second uh, isopropyl bromide and tertiary butyl bromide. So if you move towards the right hand side, these are basically primary, secondary and tertiary halides. Now suppose what was observed at first, if the series of compounds are undergoing an SN2 reaction, what can happen? What should be the rate of the reaction? So it was, let us uh, see in a more uh, logical way that if you move towards the right hand side you can see the number of methyl groups are increasing so that is the number of alkyl groups are uh, increasing with in uh, towards the right hand side that means what are the uh, uh, the effect of these methyl groups is to uh, push the electron towards the central carbon atom that is because it has a plus i effect so increase of the plus i effect results in the loss of electrophilicity of the central carbon atom. What is electrophilicity? Electrophilicity means it is the extent of positive charge on the carbon atom, central carbon atom. So you can imagine with number of in, uh, methyl group increasing, they are pushing this bonded electron cloud toward the central carbon atom. So increase in the electron density on the, on the carbon atom which results in the decrease in the positive character of this central carbon. That means the electrophilicity is decreasing. So the electrophilicity of the central carbon order will be 1 greater than 2 greater than 3 greater than 4. Now this is the first thing. Second comes about the transition state. The, in this SN2 reaction, the relative uh, the transition state you know is a penta coordinated one. So it is already very much crowded compared to the starting material. Now, if you increase the number of methyl or alkyl group on moving in the right hand side, definitely this crowding or the steric crowding will increase. So as you move towards the right hand side you can find the relative crowding at the transition state will be in this order. So what happens and you can easily realize from this thing if there are hydrogens the crowding will be very much less but if you replace hydrogen by a very bulky groups this steric there will be huge steric crowding. So that is why you can see this. So as you increase the steady crowding, definitely the stability of the transition state will decrease. So as, as the stability of this transition state will decrease, the rate of SN2 reaction will also decrease because rate of SN2 reaction will definitely depend on the activation energy or the stability of this transition state. So, as you move towards the right hand side by increasing uh, alkyl group, 
So you can find the rate of SN2 reaction is going to decrease. So you will have this order. So 1 will be greater than 2, will, uh, 2 will be greater than 3 and 3 will be greater than 4. In fact, for tertiary halide, it is impossible to perform any SN2 reaction. In case of secondary halide, because this is not the only factor, there are some other factors like solvent, uh, nucleophilic file activity, living group capability. So sometimes it is observed that the secondary halide sometimes uh, undergoes SN2 reaction. But we will talk in detail about that. But the general order follows in such a manner. Now, now, apart from this alkyl halide, another very much important uh, uh, molecule which can undergo a facile SN2 reaction is the benzyl halide. Now, it just, uh, if you just uh, put one phenyl group in place of the alkyl group, methyl group, you can have PHCH2Br, PH2CHBr and here here in place of methyl you have PH3Br. Now, first of all if you, I can show you the first of all let's see what was the observation. The observation was the order of SN2 reaction or the rate of SN2 reaction was following this trend that is 1 is greater than 2 greater than 3. First of all from this concept you can easily realize as you move towards the right hand side more and more phenyl group is attaching which thereby increasing the crowding, steady crowding in the transition state of this molecule of this uh, reaction. So transition state gets in, uh, unstable which results in the rate of uh, decrease in the rate of SN2 reaction. But the thing is it was observed that compared to the aliphatic component, this ethyl bromide, this PHCH2Br actually undergoes uh, SN2 reaction in a faster way. And to some extent this can also participate in this SN2 reaction depending on the other factors. And why? The first thing is, it is very important, is look at this orbital diagram pi orbital picture. PHCS to be is called a benzylic. So this carbon is a benzylic carbon. So here it is represented this carbon. So if you look at this uh, transition state, in general in the transition state the carbon atom is linked with nucleophile on one side of the pillow and other side of the pillow there is the living group. If you look at this uh, diagram, here is the here is the here is the uh, benzene, uh, benzene ring and this carbon is attached to the nucleophile as well as living group. The condition for the SN2 reaction is you have to uh, the nucleophile must attack the nu uh, uh, carbon atom from the back side of the living group. Now in such cases due to this orientation of the p orbital of the carbon it is easily possible through this type of orientation and another very important factor is due to this alignment of the pi orbital this carbon p orbital can easily be in conjugation with the pi orbitals of the benzene ring because they are in parallel orientation that helps so due to this pi network formation and no hindrance for the back side attack, this nucleophile can easily participate or this type of benzylic halide can easily participate in the uh, SN2 reaction. What happened when you increase the number of phenyl groups, there will be huge steady crowding in the transition state. So that's why uh, even if the minus i effect is increasing uh, for with incorporating more and more phenyl group which might which was expected to help increase the electrophilicity of the carbon but it is the steric factor 
that is going to be a dominating one because it is a penta coordinated transition state and you can remember in case of SN1 reaction it was the better component because due to the phenyl group that results SN1 results in a carbocationic transition state now this can increase the stability of the carbocation due to the presence of 3 phenyl ring but here it was not it is a steadic factor which is dominating and that is why this will be the uh, fastest one to participate in the SN2 reaction and this will almost um, it is will be impossible to make any uh, SN2 reaction in this molecule so another very good component for SN2 reaction to execute is the allyl halide that is CH2 double bond the structure of the allyl halide is CH2 double bond CH single bond CH X X can be any halide so this type of molecule if you look to represent uh, these things so you can understand the uh, just remember the criteria the nucleophile should attack from the back side of the living group and the um, there will be relatively less steric crowding so if you look at this here there will be no hindrance for the backside data because the double bond here which might inhibit this new incoming nucleophile they are one carbon away from this central carbon so nucleophile does not have any problem with this a double bonded pi electron also now due to this alignment of the p orbital this nucleophile can easily attack this carbon through this pi p lobe interaction and the living group can depart easily and that's why an allyl halide is also a very very good component for sn2 reaction but now on the other hand we'll go to somewhat else which the compounds or the molecules which are not at all a good uh, candidate for SN2 reaction. So these are one is vinyl halide and one is aryl halide. So this is represented in this structure. This is the structure of the vinyl halide that is CH2 double bond CH single bond Cl. Here the Cl is attached to a sp2 carbon atom and in this case of aryl halide that is chlorobenzene or bromobenzene etc here also this halide or the chlorine atom is attached with an sp2 carbon because all the ring on the carbon and the benzene ring are sp2 hybridized what happened the first thing is this makes a stronger ccl bond remember one thing if this Cl bond is very very strong, it will not want to leave easily. That is always a problem for the substitution reaction. So good living group is always a better option. When we talk about this living group effect, we will talk about in detail. But here you can just realize, due to the stronger CCl bond, this is not a good living group. Now why is it stronger CCL1? Because CL has a lone pair of electron and because it is in conjugation with the pi electron of the CH double bond CH2 and also here in this benzene ring pi cloud they will be they will undergo some sort of resonance which results in the partial double bond character in CCL bond and here also in the CCL bond. So that's why it is difficult to break this CCL1 so easily. Second point is due now these pi electrons are not like this allyl one. It was one carbon away. But here this is gar gar uh, directly linked with the car central carbon atom. So whenever a nucleophile is going to attack the central carbon from back side they will they, or if it comes in the vicinity of this molecule this pi cloud will definitely going to 
we pay put a repulsive force to the nucleophiles and that is why the incoming of nucleophile toward this molecule to attack this carbon is greatly obstructed the third point is very much important here absolutely the backside attack is actually not possible this is the most important point for the essential reaction because consider this vinyl uh, component if you want to attack this uh, uh, compound by backside attack from by the nucleophile it will going to face a very very steric repulsion from the substituent on the beta carbons what is beta carbon if you call it alpha they will be beta there will be any groups like methyl or etc and even the hydrogens they can interfere with this they will be very much disturb this process so that side attack is really not possible remember one thing here double bond means here has a pi cloud so as a whole this pi cloud with this substituents at the beta carbon this will all make a very very uh, uh, this will all make a very problematic for the nucleophile to attack at this carbon so no possibility of the backside attack and in the benzene ring you can imagine it is absolutely not possible this is a, this is a, because it's a planar compound and if the nucleophile has to come it has to come from the backside of the, the carbon and it has to be on the same plane but it is not possible here because there is a benzene ring with a spike cloud so there is no possibility to attack this carbon by any means so that's why this uh, compound vinyl halides and aryl halides will be a very very poor component for the sn2 reaction now we will talk about another molecule that is called new pentyl type of molecules let us see so if you even if you look at this the rate of this reaction so i will draw you compound that is one is CH3Br so maybe we can write this Another compound is these are the four compounds one, two, three, and four. What is the if it undergoes a nucleophilic reaction? First of all, let us see the structure. If you consider this alpha carbon, this is beta carbon. Alpha carbon means the functional group is attached to the alpha. This is the carbon which is called alpha carbon and this will be beta. So the beta carbon here has three hydrogen, here the beta carbon has two hydrogen, here one hydrogen, here no hydrogen. This type of compound is called neopentyl. Now it was observed that the rate of SN2 reaction is if it is it is very very decreasing in that size. So 1 will be greater than 2, greater than 3, and the last one will be very very less. It is impossible to perform SN2 reaction. Now why is it such case? The thing is the beta carbon 
and its substituents offer a great resistance for the towards the back uh, backside attack of the nucleophile to the this carbon atom because this carbon is the central carbon atom where the nucleophile is going to attack it appears to be a simple one it is attack can be a relief but it is not the case because this carbon will be this incoming of the nucleophile will be greatly hindered by the presence of this bulky tertiary uh, butyl group with these three methyl groups what happens in this case as you move along the right hand side as this methyl hydrogen is getting replaced by one then two methyl groups this steady crowding is increasing but until this number 3 compound where at least there are one hydrogen where at least there are one hydrogen you will get this molecule can orient in such a way that the nucleophile will get some sort of passage to the to attack this carbon atom but this is not possible when you have this total the three uh, methyl groups or alkyl groups so that is why new pentyl this is called new pentyl type of molecules this new pentyl bromide will be a very very poor candidate for the sn2 reaction in fact this is no reaction is possible here if you look at this uh, transition state you can realize if you just look at the transition state you have these things so this carbon is the alpha carbon what we have done and this alpha carbon is linked with the carbon which is beta which is having three substituents now remember in case of neopentyl there are three methyl groups so this will make a steady crowd inhibition with this uh, nucleophile but until this molecule you have at least one hydrogen so even if these are methyl they can be they can orient itself in such a way through single bond rotation then one hydrogen can be in this side so this steric repulsion will be diminished so until this one you may get some sort of sn2 reaction but once you read this compound there will be very very poor rate of or in fact is impossible to perform any sn2 reaction so these are the general substrate which you can uh, study in, a, in any books uh, and when we are going to do some problems then we might encounter some other complex molecules uh, which we can discuss later in the next class we are going to talk about uh, other factors which are influencing this sn2 reaction the these are living group nucleophiles and solvent and maybe some effect of the common ions so until then thank you very much have a nice